What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Resolve video. I really appreciate each and every one of you supporting the channel over the years and continuing to support me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at eight tips on how to speed up your workflow, especially in the edit page for beginners. So without any further ado, let's hop right into it. Tip number one. So right off the bat, before you launch the program, you want to keep your files organized. So what I usually do is just create the folders within the OS itself. Name this one A roll, put a bunch of clips in, B roll, and my audio. You would definitely want to spend a good amount of time just to structure, just to organize all of your folders before you bring them into Resolve. Tip number two. Once you've launched your Resolve, you want to click on this cog wheel at the bottom right and go straight into the master settings make sure that you have your timeline resolution and more importantly the timeline frame rate make sure it is at what you want it to be and you want to save as much time as possible for the next project what you want to do is go up to this top one here presets and you can save your current project settings i'm going to name my tutorials for example and it is saved and whenever you have a new project you can always go in here and load up your presets Tip number three, you can bring all of your clips, footages right into the edit page. Just click on the edit tab at the bottom. If you don't see your media pool, you can click on this icon here and your media pool will show up. Earlier, we've created some folders with clips inside. Obviously, you can drag them and just drop them right into here. However, if you want to keep your folder structures, what you want to do is drop them right into this little section right here. It's, it'll say master on top and drop them in here. Do not drop them in this area. If you drop them in this area, it will not keep the folder structures that you have created. So you do want to drop it in here. As you can see, it imported all of the folders created in the beginning. This will save you a lot of time and instead of creating new bins and such. Tip number four generate optimized media if you have a slower computer meaning that if you put your footages onto the timeline and, and you do a playback and it just skips and the frame rate slows down and it stutters what you want to do is to generate optimized media before you do that you want to go back to that cog wheel earlier and in the master settings go down to optimize media and render cache make sure you choose the optimized media format dnx hr sq or lb i usually go for the sq if if you are on Mac, it would be ProRes, so it's ProRes LT or ProRes Proxy. I usually go for ProRes LT. And same thing for the rendered cache. Go ahead and click Save. So right in the media pool, select your files and right click on it and go down to generate optimized media. Just go ahead and wait for it to optimize. Now, I only have three files here, so it's probably gonna take pretty fast. However, if you have a lot of files, sometimes it can take up to an hour. I've seen it taken up to about eight hours. However, if it takes too long, just go grab a coffee, make a tea, you know, spend time with your loved ones. Cause in the end of the day, you would rather spend the time and let it generate the optimized media than sit here, edit with the choppy footages. And that choppiness that you get, that will actually slow down your productivity. It will waste more time and frustration and it will take away your creative flow. And make sure used optimized media if available is checked and you are all set. Tip number five, know your band, B-A-N-D. So B is for blade. So whenever you are on the timeline and you want to you want to cut something just press B and you can chop up your clips and A is obviously to select so to go back to the cursor just press A and N is to snap now the cool thing about N is for example if you are holding down a clip you press N to untoggle the snap but when you let go of it it'll go back to snap so this is my workflow what I usually do is do not have it toggled so meaning that I can place it anywhere I want when I want it to snap while holding down the clip press N for it to snap and then it'll snap let go of the mouse and it'll go back to my previous state so D is for disable what that means is say you're watching the timeline and obviously whichever clip is right on top will play back that top layer but if you just want to disable it to see what's at the bottom just press D make sure you selected the clip that you want and you press D and that will disable it tip number six 
to select individual clip what you can do is hold down alt sometimes you just want to select the video but you don't want to select the audio you want to hold down alt and click on that clip that you like sometimes you want to move just the video without moving the audio so for example this clip if i were just to click on it it will select the video and audio but if i just want to select the video hold down alt click on that and i can drag it up to a different place without moving the audio another cool thing with alt is if you want to duplicate this video clip what you want to do is select the clip that you like hold down alt and drag it up it will duplicate that video clip for you now another way to speed up your selecting process say you wanted to add something in between where the playhead is well sometimes you can select the whole thing and move it to the right side however if you're working on a really big timeline and you just don't want to miss any clips at all what you can do is use alt y and that will select everything on the right side you can move it anywhere you Want. Say you wanted to select everything on the left side, just make sure your playhead is somewhere on that last clip. Control Alt Y. On a Mac, it would be Command Alt Y, and everything on the left side would be selected for you. Tip number seven Ripple Delete. Say if you want to delete this clip right in the middle here, what you can do is select it, and if your keyboard has a delete button, you can press delete or hold down Shift and backspace and that will close off the gap for you and another way to quickly chop up your clips this is something i use every single day you want to take out the left portion of the playhead Control shift left bracket it will automatically close off the gap for you on mac it would be command shift right or left bracket tip number eight using short keys for zooming in and out of your timeline in my previous video i've talked about these three buttons right over here and you can change it by dragging you can zoom in and out of your timeline by dragging this or even click plus and the minus button however if you are on pc you can hold down alt on mac it would be option and scroll your mouse wheel and that will also zooming in and out of your timeline say you've zoomed in way too much and now you need to see your whole timeline you can click on this button Button here to do the full extent of your timeline or you can press shift and Z and that way it will zoom out and you're able to see your whole timeline and that is it guys thank you so much guys for checking out this video if it was helpful please give it a like and share it with others if you have any questions at all please drop them down in the comment and if you are new here perhaps subscribe I make resolve tutorials color grading and short cinematic videos so yeah if you're interested in those things just smash that subscribe button and on that note, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.